IB at Worthington Kilbourne High School is yet another opportunity for our students to think globally and, and think outside the box and share their learning um, in different ways beyond paper and pencil. Um, it's something that I'm really excited about um, and I believe our students will be. I think it's going to open up a, a whole range of new possibilities for many of our students. Uh, I'm excited about the worldwide perspective that the program offers and all the chances for individualized work and pursuit of research and that sort of thing for us. Marley and I are really excited about our curriculum, all the books that we get to read, um, and, and all this planning that we've gotten to do for this wonderful class. We really feel that the curriculum fosters a deeper understanding of oneself and one's place in the world. Uh, bonjour, uh, my name is Sedwin White and I am the French teacher. Um, what I love about the um, IB program is that it promotes international education. Um, so it, um, the goal is to develop caring, open-minded learners who not only accept but um, respect and value people who are different from them, people who have different perspectives. So French is really a major part of the IB program because we teach students to communicate with um, French-speaking people in our community and all over the world. So, vive le français and vive le baccalauréat international. What I'm most excited about for IB Latin is that the students will get a chance to read Ovid in depth. And Ovid is a very exciting author who has written the Metamorphoses. A lot of our mythology uh, stories come from Ovid's Metamorphoses. The students will have the opportunity to compare Ovid to Virgil, who was a, a contemporary artist at that time, and uh, see how they view Augustus and the Roman world at that particular time. Uh, students will also read Catullus and Horace, two, uh, two poets who have influenced uh, Ovid and Virgil greatly. Um, another wonderful aspect about IB is that the students will have a chance to research a topic of their choice. Uh, I think this will be exciting because it will be things that I may not have uh, heard about and it will open up many new doors uh, for all these different students. So hopefully I will see you in IB. So we will be teaching the IB Spanish courses and we're both really excited about it. I think some of the most exciting things for me are that I think the themes are really great. Looking forward to teaching the themes that we'll be talking about and I think the students will really like it. For example, we've been, we'll be talking about leisure time, uh, sports, technology, customs, traditions, celebrations, and really talking about authentic materials, looking at you know, videos and articles of what people actually do in Spanish-speaking countries. And I'm just excited. I think we're going to pull a lot of kids into the program. And I think that we're going to really enjoy the material that we're learning in class. And I think from our perspective, especially, although we may be a little biased, there's nothing more important than language and the study of culture when we talk about the overall global theme of the IB program. So we think that's really important. And we'll give the students a lot of uh, real life situations, authentic materials and samples to practice with leading them up to that test at the end and a lot of open-ended questions and, uh, and chances to show what they really know and how they can apply their knowledge to lots of different situations. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about uh, the International Baccalaureate Economics. Uh, I'm excited about the whole program uh, here at Kilbourne. This is a, a, a great opportunity for us. In economics, uh, we, we deal with four major topics, microeconomics, macroeconomics, development economics, and international economics. I'm real excited about the international side of things, the global economy, and um, look forward to working with uh, students who are motivated, uh, and we're looking forward to doing this together uh, within the, uh, the context of IB. So it was, we're gonna have a fun time, but we're gonna learn and, um, and do some good things. Where am I? Well, if you're a member of our Kilbourne family, you know exactly where I am. But you may also think that that's really all a geography class is about. But you'd be partially right. It's partially about location. It's also about our resources, where they come from, how we use them, how we can conserve them for future generations. It's about populations and how they grow and change as a society develops. It's about the difference between a developed and a developing society. 
what you can do to reduce those differences, and whether or not that's even the right thing to try to do. It's about cities, how they emerge and evolve in response to changing populations, and our course will have a special focus on hazards and disasters. So why do people live with hazards when they have, a, have an option not to? How do they react when these hazards manifest themselves as disasters? And what can we do to plan to make sure that the damages are reduced as much as possible? So it's a course about a lot of different things. It's going to be great. It's going to be interesting. Hope to see you in IB Geography. So why am I excited about IB Chemistry? Well, it's not just the chemistry part of it. It's the whole IB community. Everything tied together. It's not individual curricula that are not related. Everything's tied together. The kids are in a program. They follow a program. They work together. And we tie that stuff together. And it's going to be exciting to share kids with teachers consistently year to year to year and watch these kids grow through this whole two-year process. I'm going to be teaching the IB Environmental Systems and Societies course. Uh, very much looking forward to uh, looking at a lot of really cool issues and providing my students with outdoor education opportunities um, to examine how, you know, big ticket items such as global warming, pollution, um, human population growth impact. Um, impact our lives here in Worthington, in Columbus, in, in Central Ohio, and then try and relate that to global pictures and how, um, how the choices we make here impact people that are nowhere around us. I, and I think by doing that, it's gonna give kids a picture of how you know, someone chopping down a rainforest impacts us here. So if I can flip that around and get them outside and, and looking at, you know, pollution in the Olentangy River and sources of that pollution, for example, that um, it will provide real world experience. I'm very excited about the opportunity to get to teach math IB. Uh, I think it's going to be a great time. I get to spend two consecutive years with students and we get to talk about math for two years in a row. So we really get to know each other. I get to build relationships with students. We get to, because we've got two years, we can kind of uh, take some time and do some other things so we can bring in some connections to other courses and some connections to history. We can look at why uh, some of the mathematics has come about and really be able to kind of go more in depth in a lot of our topics and look at some new angles in terms of uh, mathematics and so I think it's going to be a great two years with each group of students and I'm very very excited about the process. IB Business and Management is really exciting because this is the first opportunity to teach some of the business concepts that normally are reserved for college courses so for me that's really exciting and I think it will be for the kids as well. The other really exciting thing is that in business, we always have a unit called international business, but it's one small part of the business curriculum with IB business and management. International themes are intertwined with every topic that we cover, so it really adds an extra element to our courses. And finally, something else I'm really excited about is that students who take the HL level and do well on the, the exam portion are able to receive college credit. The reasons I am excited about teaching IB courses in general and IB computer science in specific, uh, largely for the um, problem solving uh, aspect of any class in the IB program, but more specifically in computer science, they are given a real world problem. They have to work it out and solve it as if they were working for a company. Uh, computer science in general, you can problem and we can have 20 students solve it 20 different ways. It's a very exciting course to teach as far as seeing how problems are approached. Um, I have my one tunnel vision way of seeing things. Students often teach me more than I learn. I'm really excited to offer design technology as part of the International Baccalaureate program here at Worthington Kilbourne High School. Uh, design technology will allow those students to use what they've learned in their capstone courses to come up with creative solutions to problems and then uh, uh, actually develop those using the tools, machineries, and their knowledge to, to come up with those solutions. It's an outstanding opportunity for kids to take a, a, a thought, an idea, and innovate a product that could possibly lead to a patent. And so 
uh, for the kids to have those that fundamental knowledge and to be able to to take it from uh, just from an idea to a completed product outstanding Ivy film is a different kind of course that we've had here at Kilborn. I mean, who doesn't like movies? But so many students now are into video and putting movies together. It is going to be so exciting to be able to watch not only American Hollywood films, but also international films, figure out the correlation and actually acknowledge the fact that other countries do yet make films. So I'm really excited to take this on. I'm learning at a very, very fast rate, and so I cannot wait to see the students, and I can't wait for them to join me. IB Theater is going to be so exciting next year. What I'm really looking forward to is the idea of looking at different kinds of theater, like puppet theater, and looking at how theater is used to protest certain events, as well as the um, wonderful development of American musical theater. Theater is not exactly what we always think of it, and looking at theater outside of the norm is also going to be really intriguing. Um, when I was uh, given the opportunity to um, look at the IB theory of knowledge class to see if I'd be interested in teaching it. It didn't take long for me to you know, dig into that and find out what the class was all about and I think it fits perfectly down you know, my educational background and some interests that I have. Um, having a psychology and sociology background and uh, looking at theory of knowledge is that maybe not all knowledge is a static entity, that there's different ways to approach problems, there's different aspects of knowledge. Um, I think it gets into a little bit of the philosophy, which I think is something I have an interest in as well. And you know, just things about life that are more than just you know a textbook um, static entity. I think just this theory of knowledge, the way that it can open up the world to the kids, is a fascinating area. And I'm excited to to be involved in that. CAS is exciting because it will allow students to take what they're learning inside of the classroom and apply it to great experiences outside of the classroom. Students will be able to tap into their creativity and engage in action and they'll be able to serve their community in the ways that they choose.